approval of the minutes. It is recommended that the minutes of the February 14th, 2022 regular board meeting be approved as presented. May I get a motion? A motion. And a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries 4 0 to approve the minutes. And then we have our statements from the public. Um, and the first one is Frank Ingram. Yes, I have a question for the board. Can you Appreciate come and stand at the podium, please? I, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Um, we had a, the board requested a survey for the community and hired someone to do that. Um, I think it cost excess of $2,000, $2,500, something like that. And I understand the results are in and the survey is over. My question to the board is when are you going to share that with the public? Which survey are you going to be referring Which survey are you referring to? First of all, this is not the question and answer, but the, I'm not sure which survey you're referring to. The survey was on Facebook that asked about how the school board was doing and different comments from the community to request like comments. From the they were published. The results were published. Where? They're on the school website and they were published through the um, school corporation social media. Everything in the survey was, was in there? The answers to all the questions was, has already been posted? Yeah. What, what was what was the school board's goal for doing that? Okay, so again, this is not a question and answer, so this is public comments. You, you can't answer a question. Not during um, statements from the from the public. It's not a question and answer session. When can we ask the question? I think we were wanting to get input from the community regarding um, the selection of the superintendent. That's why we asked these questions on the survey and we shared them on social media so the community can answer those questions. And then the university search team gathered that information, that data, and shared it with us. And that's the information that we shared on the website. We were just wanting the community's input on um, what they would like to see um, the characters for, for the super or the characteristics of the superintendent. So all the all the questions, it was all the answers and all the uh, comments are on the website, the school website. The the, the answers to the questions, yes, they are shared, but the comments were not because that was uh, recommended by the university search team to not share that information. So you have 30 seconds left. Do you have any other comments? No. Okay, thank you. So the next is Jill Kelly. <coughs> I agree. I would like to. I would like to see the comments as well, just to build off of that, if that's possible. I don't know if you have to follow their recommendations or not. But. Um, the school board should be here to work together for the betterment of our children and our school. Please ask yourselves, why are you on the board? What changes are you wanting to promote and how do you come to agreement? Do you present your case by communicating the facts and then discussing them as a team? What we as a community don't see that that's how you're conducting your business. <coughs> Concerning the questions that Matt Bunner asked in the last meeting I know you can't answer this but um, are the answers going to be given tonight the community sees adults fighting because of what they want not what is best for the school if you feel that what you want is best please communicate that openly state the facts communicate your reasons it can't be because somebody hurt your feelings or because some you feel somebody did you wrong as, a, as an adult, please tell me that we're still not led by feelings. 
I hope that is not the case. I hope that you make your decisions based on the facts and while using integrity and discernment, you decide how to go forward. Um, the school board, none of this is about you guys. The teachers, it's not about you either. Um, we're all here for the betterment of our children. What does any of this have to do with the real reason why you wanted to be on the school board or to be a teacher for that matter? We are all in this together for the betterment of our, of our future generation. The actions that you are taking right now are affecting our children in a negative way even if you can't see it. As a community, we want better representation for our schools. Please take some time to review yourself and make sure you're doing this for the right reasons. If you're not, please step down. We are better than this and we have to start acting like it. If you want a good change, you get it by being a good example. Thank you. Thank you. And next we have Denise Sappenfield. Good afternoon. My children live in Rockport and have the option to go to South Spencer schools. I'm here this evening to say what is on my mind. I don't agree with most of you board members. A team player is marked by devotion to teamwork rather than individual achievement. To be a successful school board member, you should communicate your actions to the community. Focus on serving all children. Your identity is with the community, not with the staff. To me, your decisions are unclear and mysterious. What has happened to Chris Brown and Richard Rutherford are decisions I disagree with. Thank you, Mr. Rutherford, for all the things that you do, for showing up at religious release time, for school and sports events, for being a Sunday school teacher, showing up for these meetings. Thank you for being so humble and not giving up on our children. You serve well as a superintendent, and I pray at your next job that they appreciate and value who you are and the work that you do. I pray all these trials you've gone through recently give you strength and growth. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And then we have Dustin Sarver. It's getting a little frustrating. Okay, like the, the, the childishness, the pettiness. I, I used to I used to come to meetings. I got I had a life change recently. Kind of got a little busy, and I'd get on uh, a certain member's page to watch the meeting because I didn't have any other way to watch it. Um, I guess somewhere along the line, I, I, I said something, and now I'm completely blocked. That board member, I'm completely blocked can't see that they even exist anymore the way I used to watch the video. Anybody ever tell me what I did? I've got them spoken like I saw I got to see a little bit of it somebody sent me some. Uh, I got to see a little bit of the meeting and, and one of the things brought up is, is we didn't thank somebody for talking. You know how many people have ever thanked me? Four board members did one didn't. A couple years ago, I brought up a situation about the hiring process. It was at Loose Elementary at the meeting there. I brought up about how we do the hiring process and what is it. We make sure we're doing it, you know, has somebody been through HR training? So we don't ask the wrong questions. There was one board member on this board that was still on the board at that time. What has been done to change it? Because I, I recently had somebody call me and say, well, how are we picking the new superintendent? What's the process? Don't know. Brought it up three years ago, and I still haven't heard a single word about how we're doing it. Dr. Rutherford, I feel bad because not you don't deserve all the flack you got. I'm going to tell you right now, man to man, and, and part of it was on me, and, and I apologize for my part, but when you got people out here just banging the drums of war, other people hear them too, and, and, and elections have consequences because of it. I voted for somebody because they work at another school district. I can take their thoughts and opinions and, and what they see 
and they can bring it to us and let us see other people doing it. That's why I voted for that person. My vote's not any less important than yours. So can we just like grow up? Can we start just start moving forward? And uh, you know, just just stop being in the newspaper like a bunch of idiots. Can we please just go forward like adults from here? Thank you. All right, so next we have the superintendent's report. All right, we're going to throw some kudos out to our high school boys basketball team and coaches. Uh, they finished out the year with an 18 and 4 record. They were also first in the PAC. Congratulations to those. PAC honors. First team was Holton Compton, second team, Cale Donahoe, and Caden Duvall, KD. So, congratulations to those guys. Holton Compton has also been selected to play at the Hoosier Basketball Coaches Association All Star Game in April. So congratulations to him. Uh, we are moving Jessica Bell. That's being paid out of the extra two funds to special education assistant at Rockport Elementary. Uh, also, we had our entrance exam uh, this morning with the State Board of Accounts. Uh, the audit takes about two to three, or sorry, it takes about three to four weeks. Uh, praises has already been given out to Melissa Davis and Angie Wallace for providing the records requested by the auditors in a clean, fast, effective manner. So kudos to those ladies as well. Interactive boards, they have been ordered, and uh, they will be installed this summer in the classrooms at Rockport, Luce Elementary, and also <coughs> the middle school. And uh, thanks to Dean Ship for heading that, heading that up and uh, to find the perfect fit for our teachers and faculty and staff and for our students. So that'll all be ready to roll for next school year. And we are also working on the final specs for the softball and baseball hitting facility. And uh, also that project will include the football bleachers and also LED lights go there and then spring break starts this Friday and then we will be back and assume back in action on the 28th of March so and hopefully the weather is going to be great from here on out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alright then we have the consent items. Approve the payroll claim dockets and the accounts payable claims numbered 191 to 226 and 136 to 171. Approve the treasurer's financial report. Accept the resignations of the following. Approve to post the positions and grant permission to hire. Alicia Thompson, um, South Spencer Middle School 12 month custodian, effective February 22nd, 2022. James Kingsley, Rockford Elementary Special Needs Teaching Assistant, effective March 18th, 2022. Kara Modal, Loose Elementary Daycare Assistant, effective March 18th, 2022 and Don Donahoe, eighth grade girls basketball coach, effective February 24th, 2022. And then um, approve the out of state overnight transportation request. The sixth grade class to um, Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green, Kentucky for a college visit on May 16th, 2022. Can I get a motion to approve the consent items? I motion. In a second. I'll, go ahead. I'll second. Any other discussion? I do have some discussion here. Sixth grade class for college visitation. Yes. College and careers. I must have read over that one. College and careers. Just so you know, Chris, you're surrounded by helicopters up there, so <laughs> don't, don't talk too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of shocked me. It's like screen. Right, right over the top of that. All right, any other discussion? <clears throat> and call for a vote. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> so motion carries 4 0. And then we have the administrative recommendations. Um, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Caitlin Robinson, Rockport Elementary Cook, starting March 14th, 2022. Can I get a motion? Wait. Chris motions. A second. I'll second his move. Um, any discussion? Call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. 
Um, number two, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the reemployment of Kate Miller, Rockford Elementary Teaching Assistant, starting March 28, 2022. I move that we hire Kate Miller as Rockford Elementary Teaching Assistant. So, motion by Matt, second. I'll second. Any discussion? Call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Um, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Tamara Taylor, South Central High School softball assistant. 66.6% .6 of two open positions starting this 21-22 season. I'll motion. We'll miss the motions. A second. I'll second that. So Matt seconds. Any discussion? Call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent approve the employment of Carrie Thompson, South Spencer High School softball assistant. So again, this one's 66.6% .6 of two open positions starting this 21-22 season. I so move that we have to make that higher. So Matt motions. A second. A second. Chris seconds. Any discussion? I will have to abstain from this because she is um, engaged to a family member. Okay, so all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So the motion carries three. Um, oh, with Melissa abstaining. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent approve the employment of Kendall Thompson, um, South Spencer High School softball assistant, which is the last third of this. So 66.6% .6 of two open positions starting this 21-22 season. I'll motion. Melissa motions. I'll second. Chris seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So motion carries. <coughs> no. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent approve the employment of Sean Keister, South Spencer High School baseball assistant coach. 100% of one position starting this 21-22 season. Motion. A second. I'll second said motion. Matt will second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent to approve the employment of Jeremy Keister, South Spencer High School baseball assistant coach, 75% of one position starting the 21-22 season. Can I get a motion? I'll motion. Melissa will motion. A second? I'll second. Chris will second. Any discussion? To call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent to approve the employment of Darian Johnson, South Spencer High School baseball assistant coach um, at 25% of one position starting this 21-22 season. I'll make a motion. Chris will motion. Second. I'll second. Melissa will second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Emily Kaufman, South Spencer High School varsity volleyball coach, starting the 22-23 season. I move that we hire Emily Kaufman for the South Spencer High School varsity volleyball coach. Motion made by Matt. A second. A second. Second by Melissa. Any discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. She's present too. Will you please stand, Emily? <laughs> and then upon the recommendation of the superintendent, 
approve the employment of Maddie Brown, South Memphis <coughs> Middle School seventh grade track coach, starting the 21-22 season. I'll motion. We'll list it. We'll motion. A second. I'll second. The seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. And then we have new business of the board. Um, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the proposal for the 2022 summer school programs as presented. Can I get a motion? I'll motion. Well, Melissa will motion. A second? I'll second. Sorry, Chris, I need to cut you off. Chris seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the math textbook adoption for the elementary schools as presented. Can I get a motion? A motion. Will a civil motion? A second? I'll second. Seconds. Any discussion there? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the legal services agreement with Zemer, Stamen, Weitzel, and Shoulders as presented. I'll make a motion. It's a crystal motion. Is there a second? I will second his motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the new reimbursement for people obtaining a Class B CDL to drive a school bus as presented. I'll motion. Melissa motions. Can I get a second? I'll second. Crystal seconds. Any discussion? Okay, Dr. Rutherford, can you go over that a little bit? What the I know that we've had issues with bus drivers and it's a constant battle in every corporation. Can you give us a rundown or a kind of a feel for what we're doing there? Yeah, what we're trying to do. Uh, yeah, we yeah. want bus drivers. We need bus drivers, so mm -hmm. please spread the word as far as that goes. Some things that we do, like uh, we, we offer a free physical for them. Uh, the other thing is, is like uh, a one-time DMV learner's permit. So they go get their permit, we reimburse them for that as well. We also re reimburse them for their CDL driver's license when they get their CDL driver's license. It also, it takes four days of free travel class. It takes, you have to take four class, four days now. Back in my day, it was only three days that you had to spend going through classes all day. And uh, we'll pay for that plus travel as well. And then a skills test. You have to take a skills test as well, and that's $100, and we'll pay for that too. So, that's and then observations will pay you up to um, $18 an hour for observations. How many absences or vacancies, or how many bus drivers are we looking for? Um, I'd say three or four would be great. A lot of times we're using sub drivers across the board. So. Also, want to make sure we're not paying for failures if you fail to pass the skills or the written exam. That is correct, yes. So if you don't pass, you don't get reimbursed for that one. So okay. like if you went and you took it and you didn't pass it, that'd be you eat the first 100, but then we'd pay, we'd at least pay for one of them, the pass test, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. And hopefully with the, you know, the 12 hours of driving, observations, and Shelly training them, um, they should be able to pass. <laughs> Any other discussion? Call for a vote. So, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 4 0. And then, upon the recommendation, the superintendent approved to compensate route drivers who help cover other bus routes as presented. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion. Crystal motion. A second? Second. <coughs> well, Melissa will second. Any discussion there? And with 
what happens there is, is let's say we're down a bus driver and then we have another bus driver that has to pick up half that route um, and then basically what we're doing we're paying fifteen dollars for that morning and then like if you if they had to do the same thing after it'd be another fifteen as well so just some way to compensate them for hey your route's now longer you're going to have more kids on the bus And there were also written reports to the board um, that included the technology report, maintenance report, transportation report, and a new volunteers report. And then are there any statements or concerns of the board? I do. I just still uh, I asked questions last month and uh, didn't get answers in the meeting and haven't gotten any answers since in regards to the, the meeting. So just to kind of follow up with what those questions were. Uh, we've asked uh, for information as to whether or not the board members are meeting with the CTA, CTA president, or any of the CTA members and discussing anything regarding the superintendent, the search, uh, the board itself, or the corporation, or uh, anything related to the contracts that were recently signed. There were a lot of questions and a lot of concerns that people had brought to me in regards to what we as a corporation, and I say that we as the fact that the attorney that we hired, Dr. Rutherford and I, met and discussed the contract that we threw out as an offer to the CTA and went line item by line item through it. And we're hearing all, I'm hearing all kind of things that uh, things that were brought up by the corporation were not brought up by the corporation. So I just like, you know, I can't disagree with what anyone said tonight from the statements from the from the public Frank Jill uh, Dustin and who was our fourth one Denise appreciate everything that you all said if there's anything in regards to your comments that I can help with I'd be more than happy to stick around why start and answer now? what's that why start now you haven't said anything to me in four years why start now Dustin be more you deleted happy to me on Facebook block me what I do? What about the teachers you deleted? Hey, so let, so let us finish. I got it. Thank you. So with that, that was one of the questions that I had in regards to uh, that. I also want to make sure that as a board, we're communicating, which was brought up, but that we're also communicating as a whole and that there's not people being left out of the communication uh, loop. I know that there have been many emails that have been, are being sent out. Uh, I received one as early as within the last seven days from the CTA to the board and left out the superintendent in the discussion in regards to the contract that we just signed. So there's a lot of things that come into play and I'll, I'll be sharing some of that information as we move forward because I can't disagree. Transparency? We need to be transparent. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you as a board. You had your opportunity. I can tell you as a board, I don't, I don't get any communication or feedback from board members until it's the day of a meeting or it's something that's going to occur. I mean, the public sees where, where the lines are drawn and that's unfortunate <coughs> and that those lines are drawn with an, a purpose, an intent. And yes, Brian Russell, who was our last attorney, told all of us many, many times that you make a vote or you, you, you make a, a move to non-renew, you are legally not required to say a word to the public, legally. But in regards to the opportunity to mend fences and fix things and as a community as small and tight-knit as this one is, to have transparency is very, very important to me. That's all I have. Any other statements or concerns? All right, so our next regular meeting of the board will be Monday, April 11th, 2022 at 6 p.m. here in the Multiple Purpose Room at South Spencer High School. Adjournment was 6.32 p.m. Can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. Crystal motion, a second. I'll second. Melissa.